experts in the nation will weigh in with the evidence to make sense of the polls and reveal why Americans believe what they do. By the time he's 17, he has moved 21 times. He has been teased, he has been bullied. And what's his response to that? It's to grab onto something that everybody in the United States hated, and that was Soviet Union, the idea of communism, and he latched onto it. He goes to Mexico City and he goes straight to the Cuban mission. And he says, I need a visa to go to Havana because I'm joining the new revolution. I believe Castro's the real deal. He says, give me a visa. They say no. He loses it. He starts yelling. There are three different variations of what he said from really mad to really mad. People who say that Oswald's a terrible shot, he clearly wasn't a bad shot. When he went into the Marine Corps, he first was a sharpshooter. It means he could hit a 10-inch target from... 200 yards away, there's two football fields without a scope, eight out of ten times. It's a pretty good shot. Shots from different directions. We, have, we saw the shot, we saw the slope. Correct. Not true. The largest group, 28%, said, so yeah, we know where it came from. Came from the Texas School Book Depository. 12% thought it came from the grass and all. People who believe the head snap scene in the Zapruder film indicates a shot from the front, 73%. I understand why people think that. Body certainly doesn't snap backwards if it's shot from behind in Hollywood and TV. But it turns out when you actually go and talk to both ballistics experts and to forensics experts, it's not true. Based upon the movement, you can't tell where he shot from. You then have to examine the wound itself and the x-rays and the photos to determine where that shot comes from. The medical evidence is overwhelming. It does indicate the rear shot. So that the shot came from the right foot, from the grassy you knoll. But every treating physician I interviewed at Parkland told the same story. They took the president in, and they were worried about one thing, not doing an autopsy. They were worried about saving this man's life. They thought there was a chance of doing it, and that's all they were worried about. They never flipped him over, and they described later as best they could what they saw that day. Did it cause it was chaos? Did you hear the crowd noise? Not at all. What you do hear is just a policeman sitting on a motorcycle at some location that's quiet, likely the trademark where the president was going to show up, and then sirens going by, which is the motorcade rushing the president to park him. People are frankly worried. They don't want anything to happen to Osborne. Two days later on a Sunday, Dallas police announced that they're going to bring the Harvey Oswald over to the sheriff's department. And Jack Ruby, a nightclub owner, who's been there for two days at that police station, walks up to the back of the crowd, sees Lee Harvey Oswald, pulls out a stump nose 38. He's killed in police custody by a guy who's wearing a cap and looks like he's central casting for a mob movie. You're often running on conspiracy speculation. Jack Ruby, in my view, is the reason why many people think there's a conspiracy. It looks like a mob silencing the assassin a couple of days later. I think what people get confused with is the following. They think that if you had a motive for the psyche Kennedy, or you had a motive for having him dead, you were the one who were behind Oswald. Ruby turns out to be somebody who is not a monster, despite the efforts to portray him as that. A wannabe? No question. The secret station to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any nation in the Western Hemisphere as an attack. Russia, the United States, would come to the verge of an atomic war. Kennedy stood firm, Khrushchev blinked. There was humiliation inside the Politburo, back inside Russia, for Khrushchev. Kennedy, and he survived Johnson, he survived Nixon, he survived Ford, he survived Carter and Reagan, and all the way on. He hasn't done that by taking great gambles and risk. After the Bay of Pigs had been slapped around by the Kennedy administration, there's no doubt about it. Uh, the, the leaders of the CIA didn't think of Kennedy as a friend for the CIA. It is, did you know enough to keep a better eye on him than you did? We know in 9 11 they followed two terrorists in the west coast of the United States and they never, they, the CIA never told the FBI those guys flew two planes on the, on the fateful day. So, what did the CIA know about Oswald? What did they not do in terms of telling the FBI? And if that's what happened, then they will have to hang their head in shame. You have to ask, why would the mob want Kennedy killed? They want him killed because his brother Bobby, who was attorney general, was pressing them terribly, was trying to break them up. And guess what? 
It doesn't work. Even if the mob killed Jack, guess who stays as attorney general? Bobby Kim. The driver theory is born out of still frames taken from the Zapruder film that were degraded in quality in which when the driver, William Greer, the oldest member of the security detail, reaches over to see what's going on with the president, there's a glint and people said, oh my goodness, that's the guy who killed the president. <laughs> of course, John Connolly was wounded, Jackie, the Secret Service agent to the right of the driver, no one sees this.